haven't seen my hair in a while. <laughs> I need a haircut. If you recently bought a Canon camera, first off, welcome to the Canon family. And second off, I know it can be very confusing choosing which lens to buy for your camera because there's just so many different lens mounts from EF, EFS, EFM, and RF. Which ones work on your camera and which ones should you get? So in this video, I'm gonna be helping you guys with the compatibility of all the li different lens mounts with all the different camera bodies that Canon has. Now, this video is not gonna go too into depth of the technology, just purely on the compatibility side. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First, let's establish the two most popular camera types, which is the DSLR and the mirrorless camera. And they are further broken down into two different categories, the full frame cameras and the APS-C or other people call it crop sensor cameras. So with that said, there are four main lens mounts that Canon makes, the EF, EFS, RF, and EFM. So the EF lens mounts are for the DSLR full frame cameras. So these were like the first ones, they, they were like an improvement over like an older one. Not gonna get into that. Next up is EFS lens mounts. These are for the APS-C DSLR cameras. Next up we have the EFM lens mounts, which are the mirrorless APS-C lenses made by Canon. And then last but not least, we have the most recent one, RF mount, which is for Canon's mirrorless full frame line of lenses and cameras. You guys still with me? So I hope you guys are understanding this so far, but next, I'm gonna show you guys a chart that I made that will basically help you guys understand this a little bit better and with some examples of what cameras and whatnot. So let's get into that right now. So I have this handy chart that I made in Excel, but if you look here on the left side, it shows examples of those different camera bodies that we have here. So full frame DSLR, Canon 6D, APS-C DSLR, Canon 80D full frame mirrorless, Canon R5, and the APS-C mirrorless or crop sensor, Canon N50. So let's start off in the EF lens column. So if you look here, the EF lens has the most compatibility among the different camera bodies, but for the last two, you will need a lens adapter, but we'll get to that in a little bit. One thing you should know about these EF lenses is that if you put it on a crop sensor camera, like the ADD, it will introduce a crop. If you guys wanna learn more about that, I made a video talking about the crop and kind of demonstrating it. Um, check it out in the card in the top right corner. Next up is the EFS lenses. This will not be compatible with the full frame DSLRs, but it will be compatible on the APS-C DSLRs um, because this is what it was natively made for. It'll also be compatible with the full frame and APS-C mirrorless, um, albeit the adapter. Next up is the EFM and the RF lenses. So I'm going to bunch them together because if, as you can see, they have the least amount of compatibility with the different camera bodies. The RF lens being the most recent one, only compatible with their full frame mirrorless. And likewise for the EFM lenses being only compatible with the crop sensor mirrorless. So now we went through each of the different lenses compatibility. Now if you look horizontally, it kind of tells a different story. The DSLR full frames will only be able to have the EF lenses on it and leaves out pretty much all the rest of these lens mounts. The APS-C DSLR cameras will be able to take the EF and EFS lens mounts, but if you remember what I said earlier, if you put a full frame lens on a crop sensor camera, it will introduce a crop. So just keep that in mind. If we go into the mirrorless line now, as you can see, they have the most compatibility with all the different lenses, but that's where this asterisk comes into play. So for the mirrorless full frames, you will need a lens adapter in order to adapt the EF lenses and the EFS lenses. And likewise, for the APS-C mirrorless cameras, you will need a different lens adapter to adapt these EF and EFS lenses. So as a quick recap, the EF lenses are the most compatible with all the different camera bodies here. Putting a full frame lens on a crop sensor camera will result in a crop. And last but not least, the mirrorless cameras will have the most compatibility in terms of lens mounts, but will require a lens adapter in order to adapt these older lenses. So if you guys wanna take advantage of the older EF and EFS lenses that Canon makes on your mirrorless full frame or APS-C cameras, it's all possible with the lens adapters. So check the top link if you wanna learn more about the lens adapters and which one you should get. And check the bottom video for just info on lenses in general if you guys are interested in that. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.